I am going to make a bold statement and say there is no such thing as a simple and practical software application. The moment you add in networking, or even something like saving one item to the device's memory, you are venturing into the digital wild west. It's a land of pitfalls, gotchas, and surprises. Why? They all have one problem in common. You need to understand threading and asynchronous programming to do any of these things effectively, and there's no way around that. Thankfully, this common problem has one powerful solution, RxJava. If you have this tool in your tool belt, you'll not only be able to easily implement those two features I already mentioned, but also find a plethora of other normally difficult data processing problems suddenly become very approachable. RxJava simplifies these complex problems through a common programming paradigm called reactive programming. RxJava is the most popular implementation of this pattern, and it's incredibly powerful, if you know how to properly operate the buttons and knobs. That is exactly what this course is designed to do, from cover to cover. Welcome to the course RxJava, the Complete Masterclass. My name is Oliver Sprint, and I'm going to be your instructor for this course. Since 2017, I've used this tool to effortlessly and cleanly solve so many data processing problems that I don't know how to have gotten by without it. RxJava can have a steep learning curve, and I'm here to help you flatten that as much as possible. In this course, I'll share everything that I know about it in a way that I hope you'll find very approachable and very easy to digest. This course is especially geared towards Android developers, so we are going to build an Android app which practically applies every single concept in this course. Now, the app won't be fancy as it will largely consist of just buttons and text. That way we can just focus on RxJava and not on building fancy UIs or diving into Android fundamentals. Finally, I invite you to join me in an exclusive community with other developers just like you. Click this link to join the TLDR Android Discord server where you'll get a chance to interact directly with me and with others taking this course. Since the heart of this course is focused on RxJava and reactive programming, you'll find that many of the concepts that you'll learn here will actually translate very well to other reactive programming libraries, like Spring Web Flux, for example, just with different terminology. There is a ton of great content in this course that I think you'll find very worthwhile. See you in there.